Hi everyone, how you doing? It's Sammy Caps here. Today I wanted to have um, a semi-serious discussion around a topic that's been festering over a post that was made over on Reddit. This this post about content creators wanting games to fail. And I wanted to kind of chime in on this subject, but I also, to be honest with you, I didn't want to do this video just because I think some things are just better left unsaid, but I want to support my peers that have what I think got out, gone out on a limb and addressed this head on. So even though I, I am in nowhere near their stratosphere when it comes to the presence online or on YouTube for that matter, I wanted to support them because I think um, this is a topic that needs to be discussed because unless you are a content creator, you have no idea um, kind of what is thrown at us on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, let me preface that by saying when you sign up to be a content creator, you sign up for the fact that you're going to get um, the good and the bad and also the ugly. That's just the nature of the beast. I was well aware of that before I even um, signed up to become a content creator on YouTube. Now, I consider myself lucky in the fact that some of my content has resonated with an audience and I'm appreciative of that. So please remember that as you're going through this video. But, you know, my channel is my baby. Uh, as are the other content creators this is this is our baby this is we we create content because we have a voice we want to have a voice and also we create content because we want to share our passion and experience and opinion with the greater internet and our audience um, so with that in mind, I want to address this comment. I think this is one of the worst takes ever, um, but that's my personal opinion. The fact that this person feels content creators want to kill games because they want to farm views, uh, get more clicks, drama sells, you know, that, that recipe, you know, they, they want to farm drama and killing games makes them more money. Now, Rax, God bless him, he got inundated with, you know, and this is in reference to Diablo 4, where he got literally crucified for not getting in and playing the gauntlet, and that started a whole bunch of stuff. And then this person puts this post out that all the content creators are out for d4 and they you know they hate d4 and they want it to fail and so Rax did this video and addressed the fact that i got no skin in the game like i don't know what you're talking about basically he did a very good video on why that comment doesn't make sense and actually it hurts him financially um, and he actually wants to see Diablo 4 succeed. And then DM did a video where he actually provided financial, like he backed it up with stats financially to show, actually, you're wrong, bro. Um, I don't make money by hate and negative videos don't get me more money. And he did a video on showing that. And he actually shared his actual earnings on the Diablo 4 videos, good, bad, and the difference. And it showed that the D4 bad videos don't make more money. And, and the examples he cited, they were actually far worse. Um, and obviously God himself, Osman, did a reaction to it as well and he basically said look guys you're not you're not going to change the minds of these people um, because the reason why they're upset 
is because what you're saying goes against their beliefs. And out of all those videos from my peers and from other content creators, they all address different avenues of the argument, right? And the one that Osman brought up in his video really resonated with me because it's so true. When you're trying to have a normal discussion with someone who doesn't hear you, doesn't accept what you are saying, or can't think about what you're saying and, and say, is what they're saying right? When that is blocked, and immediately the reaction is, I love D4. They're saying that D4 needs to be fixed. Oh, they're bad. You know, that kind of reaction. So what Osman said really resonated with me because he's right. The reason why these people make these kind of posts is because they're upset at the fact that the game that they love, and no problem, if you are if you like Diablo 4 and are happy with the current state, and that's a game you want to play, then all the power to you. But don't criticize other people who make a living off of playing video games when they offer an opinion that differs from yours. That's There's a term to that. That's called being closed-minded, right? Um, so this is kind of where I wanted to chime in because why would a normal person want to have content that is full of negativity? Who wants to talk about negative things all the time? And at the end of the day, if we really wanted to farm views, why did most of the content creators that say D4 needs to be fixed, why did they stop streaming Diablo 4? If we're farming views, then why not stream Diablo 4 all the time? But all these content creators, including myself, are playing other games. We're talking about other games. Now, we continue to talk about Diablo 4 because, and I don't want to speak for them, but I've heard them say it, and like myself, we all support Diablo 4 and want to see it better. Hence, when we make content about Diablo 4, we are giving our opinions on what needs to be fixed. Now, you want to take that as we hate the game, then so be it. That's your choice. But all of us, and again, I don't want to speak for them, but I know I have said over and over. Now, you may take the thumbnail the discussion of what I'm saying as D4 bad. But if you go into my videos, you'll hear me say repeatedly, I want to see D4 succeed. I want to play D4 again because it has a good foundation. Now, we have had potentially a turning point with the recent campfire chat and Next week, the PTR is going to go live, which I will be playing because in being consistent with what I've been saying all along, I want to voice my opinion. And in, the only way I can provide feedback is for me to try the PTR to see what season four is going to be like. So I will be participating it in, in the PTR and I will be streaming it and I will be giving feedback to Activision Blizzard on my take on the PTR, which is season four. Um, so I will continue to do that because the premise of our argument, the premise of our content is not D4 bad. It's D4, we want to see it get good. Now, again, you may argue with that and have a different view. What are you talking about? There's nothing wrong with D4. It's a good game. It's just you guys are always talking bad about it. And you give it, it has a bad reputation because all the content creators say D4 is bad. Okay. 
Do you really think Diablo 4 is in a good state? Honestly, do you really believe that? Now, if you do, so be it. Enjoy. But the content creators that covered Diablo 4 are going to tell their opinion on their experience. They play the game a lot. They play the game a lot. I played the game a lot. Now, I don't play Diablo 4 anymore. I will next week. Um, but they're giving you their honest take and feel of the game. And I would tend to argue that if we took a poll, the majority of the player base on Diablo 4 would like to see improvements. Hence, if really the majority of the player base was happy of Diablo 4, then why are the dev teams making all these changes that they're making that they announced on the campfire chat, which by the way, aligns with 99.9% .9 of the content that's out there about Diablo 4 and what needs to be changed. Even the pro D4 content creators stopped playing it, stopped covering it, and made videos around what needs to be improved for the future of Diablo 4. The top pro Diablo 4 streamers and content creators, even they made videos around this needs what needs to be improved. What does that tell you? Right? And the other thing about content creators wanting games to fail. Okay, now I stream and create content around games that I play and the genres that I like to play. So for me, I typically like ARPGs, MMOs, I like survival games, but since I've created my YouTube channel, I've literally honed in and played basically in the ARPG genre. So Diablos, Path of Exiles, net recently last Epoch, um, I did a little bit of Lost Ark, um, but I've basically have been in the ARPG genre. So of course, a lot of my content is going to be around that. A lot of my content, when I'm talking about one game, will bring in the other games in the genre because this is like what I've been doing since I started the my YouTube channel. Um, but if we are so dead set against failing, you know, killing games, then you know, these other content creators that I mentioned earlier on, where are all their hate videos on all the other ARPGs? Just show me one hate video from these other content creators or myself on Path of Exile. Show me a hate or this game is bad video of Last Epoch. Like consistent, not one or yeah, I liked it, but it needs this and that. That I, I don't consider that a hate or like, but my point is if content creators, all they want to do is kill games through their content, then where are all the other, you know, D4 bad? We got that covered. Apparently that's all we do. Where's the POE bad? Where's the last epoch bad? Where? Show me this raining down evidence from myself, my content, and the content creators that I mentioned. Where are all those hate videos? Because apparently all we do is farm views. So the argument doesn't hold water. And it's so obvious the premise and where this comment and post, who the like, I don't know this person, and it's really not about the person, but it's about what that statement says. And I live it in my in the comment sections on my video. I live it on my stream where I get people coming in. First of all, I don't understand why. I understand, you know, currently I'm streaming Last Epoch, and I understand D4 players coming in there and challenging me and arguing me about stuff, right? 
I get it. ARPG, ARPG. So some of it I understand. Um, but, you know, make your argument. But the fact that they stay on my stream <laughs> and talk about Diablo 4 the whole time on a last Epoch stream. Like, I don't understand the logic. Well, I, I know what's going on. You know, there's an audience there that's playing a game that's not their beloved game. So they're in there to kind of bash that game in order with the hopes that they're going to convince someone, oh my God, Diablo 4 is way better than this game we're watching. I think I'm going to go play it. You know, I'm, I don't know. I'm thinking that's potentially what you, they're going to do. I don't know. Um, but if... If content creators wanted to just kill games, then where's all the content on the other ARPGs? Because we're talking about Diablo 4. This post was about Diablo 4, how he was sick of the content creators talking bad about his beloved game. These content creators, you may disagree with this, they get crucified day in and day out. Why aren't you why didn't you play the gauntlet? Why are you playing this game? Why aren't you playing Diablo 4? What, what, you didn't even play it. You, I can't believe you're, you know, that kind of stuff. This is, the poor guy can't even stream and create content on other games because he's a traitor. Think about that for a second. Think about if I came to your house and said, what are you doing? You're playing Diablo 4? No, no, no. Go play Last Epoch. It's a better game. What are you doing? You're such a trick. Like, do you understand the thinking here, the rationale? This is how out to lunch. Like, you play the games you want to play. We're going to play the games we want to play. We're going to talk about the games we want to play. And, you know, I think the assessments and the content for, for myself and, and for the people, the other content creators that I mentioned... I think overall, again, I, I don't watch all their content, but the ones that I've seen, I think they give a very fair assessment on what's happening with the game. Now, you may not like that, but so what? I don't agree with some of the other content creators that say D4 is dead, it's gone. Like, I don't think so. I think D4 still has a chance. And the recent campfire chat provides a glimmer of hope but there's content out right there d4 is dead that's it so season four is gonna you know is dead i don't agree with that there's a glimmer of hope here and only time will tell but my point is don't hate the player hate the game they're only stating the obvious in my opinion now again you may disagree with the fact that diablo 4 needs fixing I would argue with you till the sun goes down that you're wrong, but that's my opinion. You're going to tell me I'm wrong. Nothing wrong with Diablo 4, and hence why there's a debate. But the difference between these kind of people that put these posts out there and myself is I have two ears, and I use them. And I actually, when I have a, when I have a debate with someone or we're talking in a conversation... I put myself in their perspective and try to understand what they're trying to tell me. Now, that doesn't mean I'm going to change my opinion. I may, I may not, but it doesn't mean I didn't listen. Um, so this is an endless circle and this has to be one of the worst perspectives ever put on Reddit. And there's been a lot of bad stuff. Sorry, no disrespect to anybody, but Content creators make a living off of this. Why would they want to kill it? Especially content creators like myself that are specific in one genre. It's a niche, ARPG, like myself. Rax plays ARPGs. Why would he want to kill a game that's in his genre that he makes content from, that he relies on to put food on the table for him and his family? Why would he want to kill that? If anything, he would, 
he'd want it to succeed and he does want it to succeed so it's illogical this kind of thinking and i just wanted to put my two cents in even though i'm a little 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 guy on the internet i just wanted to put my two cents i want to hear your thoughts on the subject and i'm sure we're gonna get a lot of reaction from this but i just want to say guys everybody's entitled to their own opinion that's the beautiful thing about this world everybody's entitled to their own opinion but why do you got to throw shade at people for having an opinion now again i said in the beginning when you sign up to be a content creator you kind of sign up for that. But there's one thing saying I disagree with you. And there's another thing when you tell someone they're sabotaging something on purpose. That's to me is a difference. Telling me you disagree with my comment and you're off your rockers. Go to town all you want. Day and night I'll read those posts. And I do get them. Right? When I, when I was high on Diablo 4... I was a D Diablo 4 fanboy. Why are you talking about this shit game? That's that's the comments I got when I was talking when I was pro D4. Why are you talking about this bullshit game? I played it, it sucked. You're a Blizzard fanboy, yada yada. And then when the game got worse and worse and worse, and my content naturally would be on that topic, how Diablo 4 needs so much fixing, all I got was you all you do is talk about how bad D4 is. All, I'm getting sick and tired. It's so hateful. Your videos are all negative. Which one is it? Am I pro or negative? I don't understand. What is it? Because no matter which way I go, one side of the fence is throwing rocks at me, right? But I signed up for that, and I'm okay with that. Constructive feedback, I'll take 365, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Not a problem. But when you're saying that we are misleading and purposely trying to kibosh something or, or, or knock it down, that's where I draw the line. And I think, again, I don't want to speak for them, but I think my fellow content creators, this is why it's gotten a reaction from us content creators, because there's a difference between the two. A huge difference. No one here is out with malintent trying to kill a game. And oh, by the way, the game kills itself, not the people talking about it, as far as I'm concerned. So anyway, let me know your thoughts. I would love to hear them. And as always, if you can like, comment, and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. And hope to see you next time. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.